specific uh, task I need to complete, and that is uh, for the store I'm doing on Sunday. I've got some nice display logs. Now, the, quite a lot of my areas are conservation grade woodland, and it's not really the done thing to remove wood from those areas. So I'm going to my scrappy little zone down on the by the stream area over there. Find some dead logs. Um, and so obviously I've prepped myself for going out to do this task. So what I've got is the um, takedown saw to give that a bit of a run through. Just see how it gets on with it. Um, obviously with all the prep, on a day like today, I've got two litre bottles of water. My little Stanley, which is 750, so that's two and quarter litres of water. I've hydrated before I've gone out, so maybe 600 ml, two kill cans worth of water. Cooled me scored right down. And uh, here's the image thing. For those who know me, I don't do hats. I don't do hats. From the daylight of day, 28 degrees, 40% cloud cover. Wearing a hat, so definitely thinking about things rather than image. I don't get on my hats, but I'm wearing one today. The glasses are get heavy. So I'm just hiking out. Got me burden there. Loaded up with enough stuff to do the job. Uh, not quite a ten-piece kit. I haven't got um. I don't have to be tired, I don't have to be blanket with me today. Because I'm saving weight for obviously bringing gear back. So I want to bring, I don't know, five or six decent sawn logs. I've got some food with me. That's how we go. See you in a bit. I've, uh, I do change my route to try and make most of the, the shade. But this is getting a bit overgrown at the moment. Nettles are about seven feet high. There isn't much room on the path left anymore for your feet. But it's nice and cool. It's got to watch out for the uh, aftermath of dog walkers. So you've got to look where you're going. Right. See you in a bit when I get my little zone. Javelin thing up on that area there. But I normally walk through wooded section up in this corner just to make most of the shade. Well, this is a mile from the ice. Unlike the third row of houses over that corner there. Blade is 
retained the two sprung clips at each of these rivets here, so it's actually wedged inside. You sort of push it through and pull it out. And then by turning that around, turning that around, then you install it there and there. And then when you tighten this up, this carriage moves that way. It gives you tension. Now, first time I've used it, so I'll find out whether it's the far holes or the near holes. I'll tighten this up. Can you go on that little stump there. Definitely easier with the handle that way round. Um, I would say getting used to the top heavy, you know, the frame up there. Some some little lads might struggle. Some young ladies might struggle with the, that. But bigger teeth. There's a good set on the teeth, so it actually clears a big path. It didn't jam once. Looking good. Fungus just popped up, covered in flies. What's that noise? Like that. Ah, sorry guys, at some point the cameras decided to lose a bit of footage. So I'll start back off where I left, alright? Rather than just come out and share the saw with you, I was going to show you why I like the Ontario 23 inch machete. Don't use this big thing here, so we've got 18 inch blade and 5 inch handle to 23 inch. Um, but what was running through was this. No one is going to saw a few little bits of this later. The last thing I want to do is look butch and manly and cut it there. That's right. But then the whole sort of attitude of it collapses and makes sawing hard work. So seeing this pivoting on a branch there, so we'll go through this section here. Anyway, the we lost the footage. But anyway, what I was going to do was come to the camera. You should be able to hear it swish. Well, it picks it up. So it's a very fast blade. Your actual delivery is very easy. That's it. Sending it on its way here, and letting it work under its own speed when it gets to the wood. I 
honestly, safety wise, you know, if I miss, it should go into the grain. I can always crouch down. I go along here. Expect the weight of the rest of the branch to flip this up. When that goes, that wants to lift. This might move. I'm out of the way. Okay, so there's that. Here's this. So it's still cut up down there. But I mean, that's that's why I like this thing. It's it's not expensive in terms of calories to use it. Very fast. Yeah. Very useful bit of kit. And it's well under 30 quid. Ronnie Sunshine's. So let's get sewing. See you in a bit. position that it starts being a real winner. My hand that way round compared with the folding saw that way round. It's different stresses on my wrist. This is a far more natural feel. And the only worry you got is smacking your knuckles, but I'm wearing gloves. out of breath and using that axe. Far less out of breath. Let's put it on there. Yep. Let's move that one. You can see me a bit better. Let's try that. Let's take a little bit of one. But I'm finding this out. It's different heights of display on my stool. clearing the cut every every stroke. My folder saw that would be filling the teeth up. If you knew then what you knew now. Let's get going on some power.
Right, let's cut the next one off the camera. I think we'll get a brew on that. See you in a minute. Looking great so far. Take down salt by browning. Different angle in for him. It's just a few strokes and already it's, it's, own, it's twice its own depth gone into the wood as you get to the fattest part of the, the log. I'm counting the fact as in four, it's just this one make an easier time of it for myself. Now start leaning into it. Last moment. So under attention. So even I could make a blade jump out. So let's put it on the inner hole. It's all learning. Inner hole, not going to reach. It's not going to reach the inner one. Can get that back up again. 